Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make my Joe's Cowboy Chili. Uh, a lot of people uh, have asked me for the recipe and, and uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll just show you how to make it. And uh, I've won a lot of chili contests with this. It's not a hot, spicy chili, but it's really good. And uh, I'm guaranteeing you, if you'll take the time and actually try this recipe, that you will send me a Christmas card, okay? So let me get started. Now, I pre-opened things and and, uh, and kind of went through it to save some time. I've got my hamburger ready to go and my bratwurst, and I've explained that. You'll see some little clips on, on what my thought is on that stuff. But anyway, when you're cooking this chili, these ingredients, what you need to do, and this, this is a case if you're cooking anything, is if you're going to put something in it, make sure you put enough in it that you can taste it, or, or at least until it's the point where you want Okay, let me show you the way I cut these bratwurst. I like to slice them right down through here. Cut them in, cut them in two. You don't want too big of pieces. And then I just cut them up like that. And that's just about the right size. Now remember, don't try and save money on a bratwurst. You gotta have a good bratwurst. That's like, if you're in a band, you don't save money on your concert by, by getting a cheap sound guy. You need good bratwurst. Remember that, that's a good tip. This is what you do with the extra pieces. If you have an extra piece of bratwurst and you have a little poodle like this that hasn't eaten in six months, you give him you that. You know what? The blind one could tell what you were doing. There you go. All right. Okay, what I do is I'll take the bratwurst now and uh, I'll, uh, I'll brown the bratwurst and I'll put lemon pepper and garlic powder on Now make sure you use garlic powder, not use garlic salt. There's a big difference because there's a lot of salt in this. There's a lot of salt, some of the other ingredients we're putting in, so make sure you use garlic powder, okay? And we'll do the same thing when we brown the, the hamburger. Two pounds of lean hamburger, and you want to brown it, and again, you want to uh, do the garlic powder and the lemon pepper on it. Gives it gives just an incredible flavor. So first off, we use two pounds of hamburger, and I've got it cooked. Uh, again, I cooked it, I browned it in, uh, with lemon pepper and uh, garlic powder. And that's what I put in first. Get the hamburger put in there. Get that out of the way. Now I've got my black horse ready to go. Okay. drain the beans off, but you want to keep the tomato juice. Okay, when I do that, I use three kinds of beans. I've got kidney beans, pinto beans, and black beans. And I, leave, I don't take the lid all the way off because I like to strain the bean juice off. The one thing about my chili, I don't like it really hot and spicy. Some people judge the quality of their, their chili by... Uh, if it gives you a nosebleed or blisters your lips. Okay, little beans, and then the great northern beans. And you can use any kind of beans. I mean, you can even use one kind of bean if you wanted to. You don't have to use three. I use three because it gives it some color. And they actually have a little better flavor. You can use raw beans and you can cook them and, and uh, go through all that trouble if you'd like to, but it's so much easier to uh, Use pre cooked canned beans. Our amber is just about ready here. Okay, got the meat in there. And the next thing we want to put in, like I said, I use three different kinds of beans. You can use four beans, you can use one bean, you can do whatever you want. Here goes our great northern beans. I like to put those in. Like I said, strain the juice off the beans. You don't need that heavy juice in there. It's almost like a syrup, but it doesn't have, doesn't have a lot of flavor. 
I need a little knife to scrape that out. Use a long knife so I don't get my knuckles all gooey here. And I do work my hand before I make my chili too. Okay, pinto beans, great northerns. Here's the, here's the kidney beans. The kidney beans really add flavor to it. Really gives it kind of a nice look. If you can see what it's already starting to take shape and looking like right okay. there. Again, it's up to you what you want. These are uh, uh, 24 ounce cans of. Uh, let me see, 24 ounce. I believe that's what they are. Chopped. I get diced tomatoes. Don't get this stuff with a seasoning in it because. You don't know what they put in it, and you don't know whether it's going to be hot or just, you know, sometimes you get some nasty stuff, so I just get unseasoned, just straight up tomatoes. This is uh, 28 ounces. Two cans of that. Okay, mix that up a little bit. Th this is a real colorful, colorful dish, too, so you'll you really enjoy it. Your family will love it. It's almost okay, like we're about ready for some of the other stuff. Okay, when this cooks, you're going to get a lot of juice. It might look a little bit dry right now. And you can always add just a little water, but when it starts cooking down, it really takes a hold quick. Okay. Okay, now, when I put these in, I just kind of give it a shot. I've been making this chili for about 15 years. Season it, taste, you know, to taste whatever you like. But I like to put just a little bit of ketchup in there because it gives it, the vinegar just gives it just a little twang. But you don't want to use straight vinegar. Okay, and then here's my hot sauce. This is what I use. And, and this chili is not hot. This is Louisiana hot sauce. I love Tabasco sauce. This has got the same kind of flavor, but it doesn't have the zing after. I mean, it's got a good flavor, but it cooks and it blends really good. You gotta be careful because if you put too much in, you know, you can't, you can't undo the hotness. So, uh, and uh, it'll blend. I take the cap off. You'd be here all day shaking that stinking thing. I put a little bit on it and I cook it. I always cook my chili day before I'm going to eat it uh, because it, it's always better after it blends. Okay, garlic powder. Again, just kind of season the, you know, what you think you're going to like there. Just a little bit. You can always add to it as you're going along. I need to get some more lemon pepper in here. This is so easy to make. Your family's going to love this stuff too. Okay. See, look at look how look how colorful that is. My son had this chili recipe in a, a contest with Hewlett Packard where he worked, and and he won that one with this, and he didn't even make it right. You're getting all the right stuff. Okay, I like to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in it. I like to put that on when I grill hamburgers and stuff like that too. It's, again, to season. Uh, what it tastes like when you're mixing it isn't what, what it's going to be like tomorrow. Okay, here's the secret ingredient. Aunt Jemima Original Syrup. You don't want to get the sugar-free stuff. You want the sugar in there. So here's what it does. This is why I put bratwurst in there. Because the, the syrup will gravitate to the bratwurst and it tastes like a, like a you know, sausage with breakfast with a little syrup on it. And, and this is my secret ingredient that people can't figure out. You know, it's a, it's a chili contest. What would you put in that thing? That, anyway... This is great. Now, I put in quite a bit. I'm pretty liberal with it, but it blends and it really cooks down really good into it. I mix that up. I put this thing on low and I let it cook all afternoon and man, it gets the house smelling good. And I'm telling you, that's all there is to making this cowboy chili. Try it. You're going to love it. And uh, I've got a really good cornbread recipe that goes with this too. If this turns out, then we'll do that. Actually, it's Jackie's recipe, but since she's running the camera, I'll try to be the one doing it. So, okay, enjoy the chili. And if you like it, leave me a comment. This, this recipe and the video will also be available on uh, jacksites.com. She'll have it on her blog with the written, uh, the written recipe too. So, check it out.